So my name is Cedric Georgi. I'm gonna I'm gonna start while you're giving me the timing, okay? Um, yeah, I, I suggest this topic for this keynote because uh, I've worked on cooking for the last year and a half, and I've seen I'm part of WeShare also from last year, I think, or something. And I see a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of um, ideas around the sharing economy. And sometimes, some very often, is a concept. And people have some difficulties to go beyond the concept and think of the product, the brand, and vision. So this is something I want to share with you. Um, so cooking is a, is a, a few words about it because I will use it as an example during a few slides. Uh, cooking is a marketplace to connect hosts and guests around home cooked meals. Um, so this is exactly what we want to build. Like this kind of meals where you're sitting at a table and you have people around you in the home and they just cook for you and they eat with you. So for those of you that are French guys, okay, I will speak more in the, in the mic. Um, for the French people, it's uh, the table dot concept. We want to reinvent and allow anyone to host the table dot um, during a meal. So this is a marketplace where cooks offer to host. So I just explained. This is how it looks like we're a private community. You? We're a private community for the moment. Um, we started building the product last year, uh, opening like a pre-alpha, and we'll open uh, in public in less than two months, so before, before summer. So you have a marketplace with all the different offers. Um, an offer looks like that, so it's, um, we ask our hosts to provide uh, a lot of information about the, the kind of meals they want to host, what kind of dishes they could suggest, what kind of um, like uh, where they will host uh, locations, also very important, and who they are. So the, the, like the profile is also very important for us. So we ask them to give a lot of information about them, what kind of interest they have, uh, contact them to us, where they travel. Uh, something I, I should insist on, um, cooking meals are intercultural. So always between someone that is from a location, inviting someone that's not from another location. So like locals and foreigners, locals and tourists, or expats and locals has to be like an intercultural uh, relationship. So let's say you have an idea, like a concept. Um, so the sharing economy, you want to do something around sharing. Um, and what will happen is that you will explain this idea to other people around you. And the cool fact around sharing economy concept is that uh, it's very understandable from the beginning. It's not like building a web product, like a platform to create mobile apps where even if you explain to your mother or to your grandmother, she won't understand anything. So what will happen when you have such a concept is that directly people will encourage you and congratulate you. So they will tell you, wow, this is an amazing idea. You have to start it. They have no idea what kind of platform you need to create. They have no idea how you can create marketplace, create a real business. But as they understand the pitch directly, well, you will feel that, okay, you have to start it directly. Uh, and sometimes, actually very often, uh, the press also will love your concept. And uh, this is exactly the case for cooking. So we say, okay, we're enabling people to host uh, home-cooked meals. And that's it, they don't want to know more. They just want to have an interview uh, with us and they want to understand a little bit. But they, they don't look at the platform, they don't look at the real business. So very rapidly, you get some press and you think, oh, well, I'm getting some press, so it would be huge, it would be amazing not that easy. So you need a product from the beginning. So this is really what, what I think is to, to, to build long term, you need to focus on the product. Um, if you attend the, a panel yesterday about community and critical mass, uh, it was one of the key takeaways, like product is key. So let's take the cooking example, because this is the one I, I know the, the most, um, even if I worked in different startups uh, for the last seven years. Uh, simple concept being able to eat from cooked meals. Okay, but um, how can I execute? I can execute in different ways. For example, I could build just a listing, like a web page where hosts say, I'm available for a meal, and that's it. And perhaps they give an email, and uh, guests will be able to contact them. We think this is not enough if you want to scale, and if you want to build something that is available for a lot of people. So the first key part is user experience. Like, even if it's offline at the end what, what you're trying to build, there's a lot of um, 
sharing economy concept, the aim is not to share web or digital assets, it's to share something offline, but as it starts online, your user experience starts online. And I'm lucky um, to have with me at Tukinik, like a designer as, uh, as, a, as a co founder. So we can try to understand what are the key, um, um, key moments where we need our users to do something online and then offline. So a few examples of what is a good user experience. So I will give you a few examples of what, what we've done at, at Tukinik to build this platform. Um, pictures are, are key because we're asking them good pictures location pictures. So what we've done is, we've, we've done this part. So when you click on, on uh, uploading a picture, you get this. And you can get an access to all your pictures on different networks, like Facebook, Instagram, Evernote, Flickr, and Kikaza. Uh, and actually, we didn't build this. We just used an API. It's called filepicture.io. Um, and actually, you plug it. You plug your, your, your platform with it, and that's it. Uh, actually, you can select between 10 or 12 different sources for your pictures. So when, when saying that you're building a product, it doesn't mean that you have to build everything from scratch and reinvent, reinvent the wheel. Um, another example is Trust. There was a panel about Trust um, just a few minutes uh, ago. And um, so we built different, um, as Airbnb, to be honest, uh, we built different, um, uh, different things so that a user can say, I can be trusted. This is just the beginning. If we find on other ideas to connect a profile, like uh, why not connecting with Blablacar to get more information uh, about the users, we'll do that. Other thing we built, uh, a cooking meal is not only um, eating, it's also connecting with people. So we want our users to say, to, to select uh, guests or hosts, depending on who they are, depending on what are the common interests, common things they like. So we've connected, they, they, they can connect their profile uh, to Facebook and Twitter, and we get um, all the information about likes, about who they are following. And then we match uh, like, a, like, a, a, like a, a dating website. Uh, but it's for us a way to show both if they have something in common. And of course, payment. Payment is very uh, important in, a, in, in the sharing economy. And so we cannot build that by ourselves. Again, very complicated, it's not a business, so we're using an API. Uh, and we're using Litchi API, that you have seen perhaps as Mango Pay, because they changed the name. Um, and everything goes through us, it's like the payment before uh, a, a request goes through us, and then we give the money, but the, the financial aspects that are very complicated because you need to be a bank, you just wanna keep money and don't pay taxes and everything. So it's, 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 it's by uh, Mango Pay. So Really what you need is a product at first. Okay, and what if we can create from the beginning also like a brand? Like trying to, to not to be on, not only to be a platform, but trying to be a brand and to, to express something. I will give you one example. So this is Airbnb. Here's another one. Wimdu. Is there anyone from Wimdu here? Okay, good, because I won't be very nice. Um, for me, the main difference between the two of them, like you have plenty of things, but like on the long, on the long term, the main difference is one is a brand, the other one is just a platform. The, the Wimdu platform is really nice. Actually, it's a copycat Airbnb. Uh, but what Airbnb has created is a real brand. When you say Airbnb to someone, the, the, the person you're talking to will think of different things, Will we'll see behind the platform. Um, so we, I really think we should focus on creating a brand from the beginning. Actually, it's not only for the sharing economy startup, it's also for every kind of startup. Uh, but sometimes I'm a marketer from background, so perhaps that's why I'm focusing on this. Importance of the name, uh, because you won't change it. So cooking, for example, we brainstorm a lot to find something really appe appealing, something we can keep on the long term, it's not only like uh, table at home, for example. Table at home is not a brand, it's just like description of the concept. It just was uh, uh, an idea we had, or uh, <coughs> yeah, or that kind of idea. Um, two examples, I think five minutes left, um, of companies that have changed their name because they wanted to build a more global brand. So, Kovacirage.fr, it wasn't a brand, it was a website. Uh, 
so they change it to blah blah car, um, and blah blah car express something. Actually, it's really um, uh, related to the business they're doing. What's really? They change it to driving. Uh, for another reason, it's because there was like a, a brand, um, um, like confusion between Vostolib and another concept in Paris for Autolib. Uh, so they wanted to, to, to create something more personal. You need to think values around the brand. Um, yeah, I think I missed a slide. Okay. Uh, think values around the brand. What do you want the brand to, to express? And sometimes these values will help you to define the last thing I want to I wanna cover today, the vision. Um, why do you need a vision? Well, because, you know, when you're an entrepreneur, it's like, it's very hard to see where you're going. It's very far away. So a vision, if you have your vision from the beginning, you don't want to just build a website or just build a business. You want to create something for your users, for, let's not be like shy to say it, like for the world, the community. The vision will help you uh, from the beginning. What is our vision at Cooking? Connecting people and cultures for food. Everything we do, it's related to this vision. Not only the platform, <coughs> everything we do. For example, an exa to, to, to express this vision, we've made a, a magazine called The Art of Cooking, where we create, where we create some content around home cooked meals, around the art of hosting, like l'art de recevoir à la française. Uh, and this is a very good tool to uh, share our vision and of values to our users and also to other people that, are, that don't know us yet, for example. A lot of people will ask me, okay, but I've heard it's more a community you have to build. Uh, Cedric, that's very interesting, a product, a brand, a vision, but you need to build a community and that's right. That's really the key, but to build a community, actually a community will be the result of these three things, like a user experience, a vision, and a brand. Yesterday, during the community panel, uh, that's exactly what uh, another key takeaway was. A product and a brand and a vision, even if we didn't talk about it that much, but like a product will help you to build this community. If you're not yet convinced, um, I really see like, competition is everywhere. Like at Cooking, we have dozens, if not uh, more competitors around the world. Um, but what will differentiate us from all of the competitors are perhaps not on our concept, because we pretty much all have the same, but first, our product, the, the user experience we provide, second, uh, the way people see us, so the way we create a brand and people get attached to us, and the vision. If you want to think long term, the vision will help you, because as an entrepreneur, it's like that, we all know that, it's a roller coaster. So every day you have difficulties because one is raising 1.2 million of, um, dollars or euros, for example, or because um, your, your guests or your hosts don't understand anything, or and plenty of reasons. But if you have your vision with you, well, on the long term, um, it helps you to, to stay focused because that's also one of the key takeaways when you're an entrepreneur. You can do plenty of things in a lot of directions, but if you're clear with your brand values and your vision, you won't go in a dozen of directions that are not good for you. Um, you will really build what you want to build at the end. One minute left. So I hope it was interesting. I hope you will start creating product, brand, and vision for your startup. And thank you very much. Do you have any question for Cedric? Please say yes. When you talk about the brand, are you sure that you create the brand or is it your community who creates the brand? In fact, or, or who recognizes the brand? Well, creating a brand, I it's, it's like you think you're good, so it's not really possible. Uh, but having as an objective, create a brand because you com you're working with your community uh, to answer your question. Your community, you're giving them tools, you're getting feedback, and uh, you're trying to share values with your community. I think you can create a brand. Um, but right from the start, like, on, on like your name, your design, um, your, um, the way you, you, like your voice also, the way you speak to your users, this is part
part of your brand, uh, but sometimes your community will make you change. Uh, they have a lot of like they have big impact, but you have you have this as an objective, I think. Hi, thank you for sharing. Uh, my name is Marika. I'm with ShareYourMeal.net, a meal sharing platform in the Netherlands. We have uh, uh, around 40,000 members now. And I was curious, you told us that you will be going live in about two months. What's your strategy on getting more uh, users, of growing your user base? Uh, did you attend yesterday's panel? Sorry? Did you attend the panel yesterday about critical mass? Yeah. Okay, um, just to be sure that I won't repeat even if I was just a moderator. Um, we'll, we're, we'll go uh, city by city and location by location. Um, we focus on supply, like finding the right host, uh, going into food communities, um, working with food bloggers, um, doing partnerships uh, with any kind of company or brand doing something with food interesting interested people. That's for, for one part. For the demand, um, we don't know yet. Well, actually, we know a little bit, but uh, we have to apply what we think is most interesting. And uh, partnership with uh, for Wayne brand, like for, for export tourists coming to Paris, uh, this is for, for us like the most interesting um, acquisition in China. And PR, because as I told you, the press loves simple concepts, so you need to pay attention to that, but you need to use it a lot. And I think if, if I'm right, your concept is uh, a little bit like super marmite yeah, in France. Like like <coughs> yeah. yeah, and take away not only eating together, right? Okay. Thank you very much, Cédric. Uh, <laughs> no.